DCS Monitor Setup is a new feature in Profile Editor. So here we are in Profile Editor and we have uh, opened the F18 interface uh, by Captain Zim. And it has been upgraded for 1.6 in the way that um, when you look at um, the main panel, in addition to all of the instruments, we have these uh, viewport rectangles uh, these yellow rectangles uh, placed in the correct locations where um, viewports will be exported from DCS. There will be additional uh, detailed videos on some of this, but um, just a quick summary. Uh, basically, the intent here is that these rectangles, because they are part of the Helios layout, when you uh, will will correctly resize uh, to your local setup when you do the the reset monitors step to resize this um, this profile to your particular screen size these rectangles will resize along with everything else and will therefore still correctly align with all of the instruments and so you don't have to fiddle uh, you know forever to uh, to get them right. Each of these um, has has a name you know, that gives the name of the v exported viewport, and that has to match, obviously. And uh, but there will be again additional videos on the details of all of that. For now, uh, let's just say we have these viewports, we have laid them out, and we want to generate a monitor setup. Now this um, profile comes pre-configured with a monitor setup interface in it. So you'll, you can see in the interfaces, there is an interface called monitor setup and it's also shown in the interface status and its status is red. So let's go work on it. I should say this uh, UI up here is, is going to change a very small amount before release because it uh, is, is still missing a couple of cases that it doesn't handle so there will be some changes up here and I will try to replace this video at that time. Essentially what our status is right now is we can see here in the monitor setup we have uh, three monitors that's my you know development computer so there's a screen on the left that I don't use for um, Helios it's not as for DCS I mean or for Helios it's uh, just a spare development screen and so I have unselected it uh, the middle is my main display and I've selected it here to show um, the uh, main view of DCS which is represented by airplanes and helicopters so for example if I were to extend my main viewport to the left also it would include that monitor but that's not a very good setup so uh, right now what I'm using is um, I have the middle screen selected for my 3D view my right screen I've selected for viewports. You can see the viewports that are in the profile are shown here as little red boxes. If you edit them in the in the monitor view, they will move over here as well. And so basically this one now hover says, you know, you have to include this because there's viewports on it. And this one says you have to include it because, you know, it has your main view in it. The other thing you configure is where you want the DCS UI, like when you load DCS, where does the where do the menus pop up? And um, I like to put those on my main screen as well. Um, you could um, you could put it over here if you really wanted to, but that just increases the screen size after render, so I'm not doing that. Notice I cannot select just deselect the one I have. You have to have at least one screen for uh, the UI and one screen for the main. So by Moving it over means I click on the new one and then I unclick the old one. Uh, the, the old one. Um, so let's put it back. So this is a pretty good setup. I, I like it like this. Um, the monitor setup tool now tells me that the resolution that would make this work uh, in DCS would be 6200 by 1686. Um, not a resolution DCS actually supports. Uh, this one, it, it, actually, it, it has 6200 by 1920. But um, you know, I can either type this one. It says here, I'm, if you're technical, very brave, and I'm both of those things. I can just put these numbers directly in the options config file. I mean, options Lua file. Um, otherwise, I can just select 6200 by 19, uh, 19 uh, 1920, and it will uh, and it will will also work fine. So that just tells you 
um, we have to configure DCS to this resolution. Uh, Helios does not write the options uh, Lua file because uh, we don't want to directly configure DCS for you. So that is a step that you have to do yourself. And that will be shown in the, in the interface status even when we're done. Okay, now under advanced options, this will be the subject of an additional video. But what we're saying here is that um, some of these viewports have names that are not the defaults. And we're going to let Helios take care of that uh, by installing viewport mods for us instead. Uh, the, the other choice is we can use a third party solution. But I like to just let Helios do it because I don't have to deal with it. Okay, finally, uh, so now we're down here. Um, these are a bunch of other profiles I have on my machine that's maybe confusing. I'm just going to discard all of their state. We don't need that right now. Um, this is the profile I'm currently configuring and it is in the combined section. What that means is that um, I'm going to have a monitor set up. It's going to be called Helios and it says that right here. And in that monitor setup, I'm just going to put all the views for this profile. I'm going to make a separate video that talks about the uh, shared monitor setups by adding another profile but for now let's just make one so that we can have a bite-sized information video <laughs> okay um, so we have uh, one we're going to have a monitor setup so it's going to be called Helios so that's another thing we have to configure in DCS we have to go to the um, you know the settings in DCS and set the monitors setting to Helios um, all right, I think we're done. Um, that's everything. We, we told it how we want to lay out our screens. We have our viewports. Everything's cool. Uh, let's click configure to see it works. Okay, it worked. Great. Um, now, you'll see that the monitor setup interface status still has two recommendations, and that's to remind you that these are tasks that you have to do manually. Number one, don't also install viewport mods another way because you, you, know, you, 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 you configured that you want Helios to do it. Uh, then number two, set the resolution to at least this. And number three, set monitors in the system options to the string Helios. And that would allow DCS to, um, you know, to have this, uh, this layout at the bottom here when it loads the UI, this layout when it's running with the viewports on the right screen in the same place where DCS will be rendering all of the controls. And then it just works.